Sapphire System Overview The video covers the basics. For full instructions on the Sapphire System, refer to the Sapphire's user manual, found on our website. In this video, we will review the Sapphire Infusion System, the Sapphire Pump, Mini Cradle, Power Supply, and Administration Sets. The Sapphire Infusion Pump is lightweight, versatile, and offers multiple infusion programs, including Continuous, for delivering the infusion continuously at a constant rate. For example, for delivering fluids. Multi-step, for delivering the infusion with automatic rate changes. TPN, taper, provides the option to deliver the infusion with tapers. Optional taper up for the rate to increase gradually in the beginning and optional taper down for the rate to decrease gradually at the end of infusion. Intermittent, for delivering infusion in cycles when a medication is given at a frequency, for example, every four hours. PCA, for delivering pain medication at a basal rate or boluses demanded by the patient, or a combination of the two. And epidural, including PIEB, for delivering CEI, PCEA, intermittent, or PIEB combining all. All available in several languages. The Sapphire Pump. The most prominent component of the Sapphire Pump is its colorful touchscreen, through which most of the operations are done. Below the touchscreen are two hard keys, the on and off key, used to power up the pump or shut it down, and the stop key, used for stopping any running infusion immediately. On the right side of the screen, there are three indication lights. A red alarm light. If an alarm is active, this light blinks red and is accompanied by an auditory signal from the speaker above the screen. A yellow charge light. If the pump is connected to a power source, this light is active, either blinking to indicate that the battery is charging or steady to indicate that the battery is fully charged. A green run light. If an infusion is running, this light blinks green. On the side of the pump, there is a safety door that houses the administration cassette. Note that the door does not include any mechanism and the administration cassette is locked by a lock internal to the pump. This means that there is no risk of the cassette getting disconnected during infusion, even if the door is opened. At the bottom of the pump, there is a connection. This is where the bolus handle or the power supply will be connected. The Sapphire Mini Cradle. The Sapphire can be mounted on the Mini Cradle First, attach the mini cradle to the IV pole by rotating the knob on the right and tightening it to the pole. Mount the pump onto the mini cradle feet first. Place the bottom part first and then click the top of the pump into the cradle's latch. Remove the pump from the cradle by holding the pump in one hand and pushing the cradle's latch with the other. The cradle is built to accommodate the pump standing upright, regardless of the surface it is attached to. Vertical, like an IV pole, or horizontal, like a bed rail. Change the mini cradle angle by pulling the cradle from its base and rotate it to the required angle. Power Supply The Sapphire operates on an internal Li-ion battery. The battery is charged when the pump is connected to a power source, either directly or via a mini cradle. Simply connect the connector of the power supply by pushing it into the socket at the bottom of the pump and align the red dot with the white arrow etched onto the pump. Do not twist the connector into the pump. Note the yellow light is active. Disconnect it by pulling the connector itself from the pump. Do not twist the connector. Note that pulling the cable will not disconnect the power supply. Some cradles are equipped with a splitter providing additional ports to connect the power supply. Administration Sets The Sapphire system includes a wide variety of administration sets accommodating the clinical uses indicated for the Sapphire system. Each administration set includes the Sapphire cassette with anti-free flow valve, AFFV. The anti-free flow valve protects against free flow and enables manual priming and gravity infusion of most sets.